Now I found 15 new sneaky tricks and tools that have transformed the way I use Notion. So the first secret has to do with the date property. So let's say you want to build a habit tracker for the week with three habits as an example. The most painful part of all of this is to fill in the dates. You can't have a date sequenced by tracking. You need to do that individually. So there is this Chrome extension called the Notion Date Filler that you can use instead. So you just click on the icon on the extension bar, pop in the dates and hit copy. You'll notice you can have custom from two dates, weekly, monthly or yearly dates. Now you go to the cell which has the date inside of Notion on Chrome and paste it like you usually do. And magically you have all the dates and the habit tracker completed. So I'm so excited about the second one. That has to do with voice notes to Notion. So in the last video, we spoke about Instant Notion, an app for the iPhone. So now, with iOS 16's powerful features with voice, it works like magic. Take a look. Voice notes to Notion. Combining the new features on iOS 16. So the third topic is a combination of multiple ones, including the ones that just got released on September 13th by Notion. Let's start off with a shortcut I created with Command N that inserts a database table in an empty block, just like this. This saves me the hassle to type in slash database every time. And I use this multiple times a day. I've configured this by using Keyboard Maestro and I've programmed everything in into its editor. So in the latest Notion update, you can now see all the images on one page by clicking on the image and hitting spacebar. You can also browse through all the images with the arrow keys. So earlier, when you wanted to create a new column by clicking on the plus sign, it used to get to the default text property. Now you get to choose it. With Command Shift S or Command Shift X, you can strike through text. So spell check has also been made easier inside of Notion. They've also cleaned up the Notion search feature. Seems to have got a significant boost and a much cleaner UI. So I use the created date and the edited date quite frequently, but I've always been miffed with the absence of date formatting features. So this has also got a bit of a cleanup with four different options, including the relative one. So I'd like the option to drop the time as I really don't need it most of the time. So if you're used to copying by dragging the cell down, you may not know that you can also do this by dragging up. The view inside of relations inside that database at the top can be quite messy and you want to sometimes keep this right at the bottom. So to do that and to change the way it looks, you can just flick the show as option and change that to page section or minimal. That gives it a much cleaner look. So one neat little hack is when you want to pick relations and it's difficult without knowing more. And to add in other property characteristics, you just add them in and it's way easier to choose after that. And last, but most importantly, they finally categorize people and API connections in different places with the API connections appearing under add connections for the page. So this fourth topic is all about team spaces. So Notion introduced this feature exclusively for teams and for enterprise plans. So while many viewers would ignore this feature because they're not on these plans, I would encourage you to hear me out. So teams is built with two functionalities in mind, the rights to use a workspace that you share and organizing things into clean buckets. So I use the team plan, even though I don't have a large team. And it's made a big difference to my sidebar and the cleanliness that it provides. So I also wanted to mention that my Instant Notion app resides next to the Notion widget where I've pre-configured several Notion pages. So if you want to go back to one of my earlier notes and add something in, this becomes an indispensable tool. So in my videos, I try and bring out unique features that significantly boost your productivity. So why not subscribe and stay current? And before you go, don't forget to hit the bell icon.